it is okay well, i guess that's okay sorry guys they changed so much stuff on the youtube app and so i can't like have everything set up like i wanted beforehand because it doesn't um, let you go on landscape mode until you go live, which is really weird. All right, so welcome to my channel, everyone. Today's video, I'm going to be doing some project, some project shares from Scrap Diva Designs. And um, we're going to do a tutorial on a Easter bow, a bunny bow, whatever I'm going to call it. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. An Easter bow. Let's just call it an Easter bow. So, all right, I'm just kind of getting things together a little bit. Glad you lowered down a little bit more, man. My son is home today. He has not been feeling well. So, sorry if you hear him in advance. Hey, Sandra. So, let me see. Where do I want to start? All right, let's start with the wallet die. So, guys, if you've been following for a while, you know, you see, probably saw the unboxing of all the dies that Erica, who Scrap Diva Design, sent me to guest design for her and they are so cute you guys i've been having a blast playing with them and come up with some stuff hi lisa so let me see where should i start i feel like the lighting is a little dark all right let's start with the wallet die okay the wallet die is so cute thank you mama so it comes with all these different pieces. Let me take them all out because I like to tell you guys how many pieces come with the dies and whatnot and what everything entails. I feel like she always has a great a value for um, her dies. You get a lot for the price. So they're definitely worth the cost. These dies do add up, guys. You, you will get in trouble. But they are so worth it. They are so fun to play with. So you get the main base of the wallet, which is this one. And if you guys saw my tutorial on my little tag book, then you probably already know what comes with it. But this is just for anyone who has not seen that before. And just so you can see what each die entails. Okay, so you get this piece here. And then this is going to be the body of your wallet. You get the two layering pieces, which I love that she includes layering pieces. You get this piece here, which is a layering piece for the full body of the wallet. So like the inside of the wallet. Okay. These are for the outside. So you would layer that there for the inside of the wallet. Okay, guys. And then it has this flap, which is here. And then the layering piece, which is stitched. All the layering pieces are stitched. Hey, Natalie. I managed to force myself to craft. Yay! I'm so glad, girl. So this is um, a stitch layering piece. Really super cute. And then you get the layering stitch piece for the bottom, the middle, the spine. And I'll show that to you guys all made up. And then you get these two side pieces for the sides of your wallet. Okay? And then along with all this stuff, so you see you get quite a lot of pieces to make this. You also get three sentiments. And they are both the sentiment and the shadow piece. So this one says gift card. So that way if you want to gift a gift card in there, you can put that on there, you know, and then have a compartment. Say gift card and then the, the gift card on there. You can do coupons. You can make a little coupon book. So cute little um, sentiments for you to coordinate with a wallet. And then tickets. So it'd be cute if you did tickets and you, you know, filled it with tickets. And again, each piece has the shadow piece that goes with it. Okay. I haven't cut those sentiments out. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shika. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not. Um, so this is a total of two, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 piece die sets for the wallet. Okay. So let me put this back and I'm going to show you guys how my wallet came out. If you saw my video, you saw how it came out, but it was really fun to make. And I also have the purse die that I have not played with. And let me show that to you guys really quickly. I will be doing a live, hopefully today or tomorrow. Hopefully today. But maybe tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by that. Hi, Tanya. 
So this is the purse die that coordinates with it. You cannot get the wallet die and not get the purse die, guys. You have to have the matching set. And this is going to be a perfect die for Mother's Day. Oh, my God. This is going to make such a cute Mother's Day gift. So it's just it's about the same thing, except for the sides are different. Um, and it's bigger. And you get these really cute little clip parts where you can, like, hang a strap. And it comes with a strap as well. So this die is going to have a lot of uses. You guys can hopefully look forward to me and my daughter. We're going to do a live together because she's been wanting to craft with me. And I think that'll be a fun live to do with her. I'll have her make a purse with me. So again, those go hand in hand. Make sure you guys snatch them if you can. This is how my wallet came out. I think it came out so cute, you guys. I had the idea of making, um, putting the feet and doing the ears and making it like a little bunny wallet for Easter. I wanted to stick a pom-pom here, but it didn't look right to me, so I didn't put it on there. I know, I'm sorry for enabling you guys. I feel so bad, but then I don't because I don't want to be the only one getting in trouble. So I made this really cute little charm, and some of you guys might have catched my, um, my live on Instagram. I went live one day on Instagram, and I created this, but I added more beats to it because it was looking a little, a little scrawny. And I changed the little uh, charm on the bottom and I changed this to a pink because the yellow was not looking right with this purse. So you guys can snatch these from Happy Crafter Shop. I will have her link down below as well as my code, which is Poochie10, you guys. So most of my codes are Poochie10, guys. But if it's anything different, I will tell you and I will let you know. This is also from her um, die set. It is the Bunny Bag Topper and I'll be showing that to you guys in a minute. But look at how cute, guys, the layering pieces. If you don't stitch and sew, like, this already has the stitching for you. It was so simple to put together. I lined the inside with that pretty paper. I'm using the Bunnies in Bloom collection. And I wish I could find more. Hi, Deb. Hi, Melissa. Hello, everyone. Guys, share this video for me if you can, please. And so I just stuck the... the uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I stuck the bunny's feet here. I cut it out of white cardstock and I use again that pattern paper. The paper is so pretty, you guys. And then there goes the layering piece for the bottom. I use the side parts that came with it. And then um, I use this ZF Party bow dye because of the ears, guys. So I really wanted it to be like this with the ears, but I really wanted it. I thought it looked really cute too with the bow on the other side, you know? So that's how my wallet came out. I think it's so cute, you guys. You can fit some goodies in here. You can um, score this a bunch of times, and you can create an accordion fold on the side as well. So you don't have to use the pieces that come with this. You can also glue these together and do like two. You can do whatever. Whatever pleases you. So this is so cute, and I got to put a Velcro on it still. I didn't put a Velcro. Um, I have to do that still, but that is the wallet. And so before I made the wallet, I was about to make the wallet and I was looking at the die and I was like, you know what? It looks like, thank you so much. It looks like, um, I felt like I could make a, I was going to make an embellishment book. I'm like, Ooh, I can make an embellishment book because the body of the wallet. And I was like, Oh, I've made that before. Why don't I make them boxes? So I turned this die into this guys. It came out so cute. Let me zoom up a little bit. There we go. Right there, right there. It came out so adorable. Look at how cute. And so I turn, I have a tutorial on this. I will link it down below. Hopefully you guys caught it. Hi, Ines. And it's a cute little like tag book is what I want to call it. It's a tag book. So I decorated the front with um, an Amazon um, die. Let me show it to you guys. I think I showed it in my haul, but I'm just going to show it here. I know everybody doesn't watch all my videos. So I'm going to try to put as much information as I can within each video. This is the die that I got. It was really cheap. I want to say it was less than $10, maybe $11. And I'm obsessed with this basket, guys. I can't see the comments too well, guys. So I'm going to um, keep talking, okay? And I'll catch up on it. It comes with this piece that makes it 3D. So I cut this in half, and then that's how I formed the basket. I made a little 3D. And it comes with the bunnies, all these cute little greenery. And then it also comes with the inside of the bunny ears. These bunnies are so cute too. I can't wait to play with them. I'm missing the chat. 
Thank you, Deb. You got it? Oh, so cute, isn't it, girl? Is it like an older one or is it a new one, Deb? Because I have no clue. I just typed in Easter dyes on Amazon. Hi, Mary. What is the name of the paper pad you use? It is Bunnies and Bloom. It is by Simple Stories. It's so hard to find, you guys. Um, and I'm going through that damn six by six. Look at this. I've never went through a six by six like this. I only got a few pages left. Here it goes. Look at that. From Tuesday morning, $3.99 recently, I think. It's a new one. Yay. So I'm going to link that die below in case you guys are interested for the Amazon one. So I just used that. I used the collection. I fussy cut the little um, eggs and the little bunny. She's so cute. And um, so, yeah, this is a little book. And it has little boxes. And I just stuck in tags. So this is, these are the tags that come with the collection in the paper pad. So I just left it like that because it's cute and it's double-sided. And then I use the bunny feet to, you know, I just want it to be really cute, like have the bow on the front and then the bunny ear sticking up. I thought it came out really adorable. So I just stuck that there and it's just a tag. I um, put that on... 110 pound car stock to make it sturdy but that's like wasting paper i love that these are double-sided so i just only did that to two of them and then we have this one here love makes everything grow again these are all from the paper collection and then this last one i decorated with this cute trim that i got from walmart it was only 98 cents you guys so i thought that was so cute to have it you know here and then um have it poking out on top, like decorating the box even further, you know? So I have a tutorial on this. Hopefully you guys can check it out and I'll inspire you to make one. I would love to see you guys make your own little boxes and how cute you would decorate them. Um, so I love that, you know, I turned this purse die into a book. It's just so cute. I knew those pieces were like, ooh, the first thing I thought was book. So that's my project with the purse die. Thank you so much, Deb. You're so sweet. Okay, so the next die that I want to share, let's do the bunny, the bunny back topper die. Where did I put it? I've got stuff everywhere, guys. I've been trying to just do so much. I haven't gotten a lot done. Okay, the next one is the bunny. It's called Easter Bunny Back Topper, I believe. I have it all linked down below, you guys. Don't forget to use my code Pucci10, okay? It's going to save you an extra 10% off of your purchase so this die comes with tons of pieces as you can see you get two bag toppers with this die set so you get the big bag topper let me just show you what it looks like look at how cute that is isn't that adorable smooth it to the side it's so cute you guys a simple little bag topper is so adorable and i just stuck a bow on there and those ears so this die set comes with the bigger bag topper and the smaller one. And this is the smaller bag topper made up. Oh, I can't see the comments, you guys. There's still Valentine dies I really wanted from Yes, girl. And you have to snatch the Valentine's ones before they sell out, girl. Because I feel like um, as time goes by, they probably won't be available because her Halloween one sold so quickly. So this is the, um, the two bag toppers. And then you get the feet that go with each. So you get this piece that cuts out the entire base. And then you get this piece where you can make it a shaker. And I love that when you cut these out, you can have this part and then you'll have these to cut this again. And then you can have another one. You can just glue these little cutout pieces and stick them on there. So that's what I did. You guys know, oh my God, I hate die cutting so much. And so I like to do little things like that to, you know, further push my stuff. All of that don't. Yes, girl. I did also the six by six. Can you believe that? Um, and then you get the small, same thing for the small. So the two to make the shaker and then the two back pieces. Okay. And then also with the set, you get a sentiment that says happy Easter. You guys know how I feel and you get the shadow piece. So you guys know how I feel about Easter crafting. I love Easter crafting so much. And this is how it cuts out. 
I cut this twice and then I put it on the side like a shadow the way I showed you guys last time. Thank you, Mary. You're so sweet. So that is the bunny bag topper. It's so adorable, guys. I've been having so much fun putting just these feet and ears on every damn thing. Okay, let me put this back on here before I lose some things. So this piece, this die set is a two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is a twelve-piece die set. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna put it all right here because I'm taking too much time with this. Let me put it to the side. Hopefully, I don't spill anything. And I like to put um, her dies that have like a ton of pieces um, on a magnet in these sleeves. So I'll fit whatever I can on one side. On the other side, I'll put the bigger ones that I take up space and I can just pull out. Okay, so there goes that. What else did I make? Let me see. Um, and then I also created a bow with that die set, you guys. Let me know how you guys think. I wanted to use the feet as like the sides of a bow. Um, and I think it came out really cute. The bigger one, it looks a little too big but i probably can find a really cute um ear svg on silhouette that i could make it work with but this is how my little easter bunny bow die came out and so i use um another bow let me show you guys what i use this is a throwback bow from um tara nurse gem nurse gems oh my god urban gems <laughs> nurse gems um and it is so damn cute guys i hope that you guys grab this because she sold out of this it, it went really quick i did a live with this when i first got it and it was sold out so check out urban gems guys she has a lot of really cute dyes that you can use in your stash okay and they're really cheap and you can use my code poochie 10 as well to save 10 percent off your purchase so i love this bow dye it's the perfect size look it's the perfect size for this and it's the perfect size for this so what i did was i cut that dye i made my own little pom-pom here I stuck those um, feet on the side. I used that. Uh, this die right here is from ZF Party. Let me show that die to you guys as well. I need y'all to get all the things. I love bunny dies and bunny ear dies. I'm obsessed with them. So this one is the ZF, they're both ZF Party actually. This is one die. And then the other one comes with these ears. So that's the ears from that one. It comes with the jar as well. So I thought it was like a win-win. I'll link all these down below in case you guys are interested. But we're going to do a tutorial. We're going to make one of these together, okay? I know it looks self-explanatory, but we're going to craft and make one of those. And then I also made this bow. So cute. You guys know I love adding tool. And I use this little funky trim that I had for the middle. And I use my little satin bows. And I love the stitching detail on this bow die. Okay. And then the last die that I want to share with you guys is... Where is it at? It is this envelope one. When she, she messaged me about sending me something, I was like, yes, can I can, can you send me the scallop one? I've been eyeing this one, and I was so happy she sent it to me, guys. It is a scalloped envelope die. It comes with two pieces. So here is the base. Let me see. It cuts the base here with the cute little scallops. And then you get this piece that you would glue on, and it makes a little envelope. It's so cute. I love little envelope dies. So again, you get the big and the small. So I asked her for this one. She sent it to me. I was too happy because I love, love, love me, my little envelope dies. So this is the small and this is the bigger one. So you guys can see in comparison. Really cute. You probably want to use your double-sided papers. Um, because they just look good. Okay, so that's that. And then let me show you guys what I made with that. So I just put one together. 
I'm gonna have to embellish this a little bit more. How cute would this Happy Easter look with it? It's adorable. Oh, I just had my light. It's so sensitive to touch. So cute. Okay. And then, so when I was playing with this, I'm like, you know what? I want to make it a box. So I turned it into a box. And um, it has a compart. Like, I put the, the top on it. So you can actually slip. I'm trying to see what can I tuck in there. You can actually tuck something in there like it'll be cute to have like some cutouts little die cuts sticking out like little flags or something and then i stuck one of these bows that i made on here and i made it into a box it's so cute you guys and this will be a cute little hold on guys so i made this will actually make a cute little um house as well you can make it to like a little house and decorate it however you want but let me finish this one with you i made this because i wanted to put some um flowers that i made i did this on another live um using some stuff that alicia who was little paper crafter she sent me this stampin up stuff and we made all these flowers on the live and so i thought it would be perfect to put these inside this box so let's do that real quick before we do the bowl Sorry if you hear my husband in the background. And so I grabbed some tissue that I want to stuff in here because I don't feel like putting no paper in there. You hear Ava? No, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick some glue in there. And let's stick this in here. Just so I have a cute little bottom. Oh, and guys, I made this um, box by using her cake die. A lot of you guys were telling me to snatch the cake, the 3D cake die, that you can um, make boxes and make everything 3D with it. And I snatched that die, guys, and it comes in handy. All right, that's cool. I didn't want to put shred and all that. I just wanted to stay down in there. Cute little bottom. And this is um, one of the pieces, the longer ones. You get three of these pieces here. There's a little magnet right here. Um, you get three of these in different sizes. And so I always use the big one because I'm always trying to create like a little box or something. And so I think I use like one and a half of these to go all around this. So it comes in really handy. And again, I just want to stick these little flowers in here. Isn't that cute? So cute. I feel so bad showing you guys all this stuff because I know like I would want to snatch everything. Look at how adorable you guys. So a cute little Easter bunny envelope box. Again, you can stick like little ephemeras or little tags in here will look really cute. Um, or little banner pieces would look really adorable. Ooh, I, I probably need to get, she. I think she has an Easter, an older Easter banner one. And that will look so cute having them stick out. I need that. So when you open it, got your cute little flowers isn't that adorable you guys so there goes the envelope die i'll link that down below i don't think i have it in the description box yet but i will after this video so let's get started on the bow die let me see we're at 23 minutes the cake die is from scrap diva as well scrap diva i will try to remember to um put it down below thank you mama let me read the comments that little box rocks. I love it. Let me put it down now again. Because I can't see the comments, you guys. Thank you, Deb. Did I miss anybody? Okay. Hopefully, I didn't miss anyone. Hi, Sele. Okay, so I love how this came out. Let's go ahead and let's make a bow. And I'm going to move some stuff around. You're going to hear me die cutting because I don't, I don't have anything ready. I got Elijah here, and I'm just trying to do what I can. <sighs> All right. So, to make our little bow, we're going to use that Amazon. We're going to use this bow die from Urban Gems. Okay. We are going to use the Bunny Feet. That comes with the bunny back topper. Let 
Let me find it. My back is hurting so much, guys. I need a damn nap. I had the, um, I've been having AT&T, um, since for probably two years now. And I've been, since I moved to this new house, it's been giving me so much shit. And I just had like the third technician come today. And it's just such a headache. So this is the smaller of the bunny ear, bunny feet. We're going to use both dies for that. And what else do I need? I need the ears. I don't know what the problem is. I, I noticed that in my live replays, a lot of um, my lives, they cut out a little bit. And I'm paying way too much money to have that happen. So they need to figure it out. Or I'm going to have to go to Comcast. I've had Comcast for years. I never had no issues. But they were just way too high. So I'm kind of dealing with that, guys. All right. So here is the bunny ears that comes with the jar from ZF Party. So yeah, I'm like, you guys don't have no problems taking my money. You should, I shouldn't have no problems with my internet. I thought they were a good company. Hi, Cindy. Thank you so much, Cindy. So yeah, I've been dealing with that. I know right now, Mary, I'm just at the point where like, I just rather pay for Comcast at this point because I didn't have all this drama and you know, BS with it. Okay, so let's pick out a color. Let's see. I would rather use my scraps. My scraps are just so, oh my God, it's so terrible. Look at that. I can't do nothing with the scrap. Elijah, please lower that down. Elijah's playing Fortnite, guys. You're going to hear him turn up. I love this page right here, but I think it's going to be too much white going on. We could probably do the blue. I really like this paper, it's so pretty. Yeah, we'll do this blue color. Cause I'm not about to argue with y'all about what paper to use. <laughs> All right, so we use this for the bow. You know what, I want some pink too. Let's use this page as well. Don't forget mommy's on live, okay? Because if you're making too much noise, I got to make you cut it off. Okay? Because it's mommy's time. All right. So let's go ahead and die cut it. I'm going to do two. We'll do two. I'm going to run this through. Hey, didn't I pull the bow out? Hold on. What did I do with it? Is it in my face? here it goes so yeah guys let me know what you guys think about my projects and again some of these you can use hi cindy does cindy come in i just see everyone saying hi hi bevy hoodoo hi kiki kiki been m-i-a she need a whooping i would rather pay for a comp yes me too okay i'm caught up all right so I like to kind of place the bow, you know, where it's going to show. Make sure you get the image that you want on there or else it'll just cut out whatever. All right, let me run this through. Oh my God. All right, let me run this through really quickly. You know what? We got to run everything. I don't got time for this. Let's run everything at once. So where are my scissors? Guys, do not let your kids play Fortnite. It's terrible. Elijah, when he plays this damn game, he drives me nuts. I'm hoping he's not going to um, turn up on this live. Okay, so I'm going to place that there. I'm going to get some white cardstock for our feet. Okay. 
And I like to use the 110 pound cardstock. Y'all already know that. Um, but actually we're gonna cut the white with this, with the base. So we'll do that. And then we'll cut the ears on this strip as well. See, this is how I like to die cut. Like, get everything done in one swipe. And then for the bunny ears, the feet, like the little prints, the paw prints, we will use some pink scraps. Let me find some scraps. I got hella scraps. This one's really pretty. Maybe we'll use this one. Yeah. Okay, so I'll lay this on here. Where's my other foot? Come on. Sorry guys, I'm a little everywhere this morning. It's crazy how I just lose everything that is just in my face. All right. Got one of these. This. I just need the other foot. So I want everything on my cutting thing. Guys, didn't I take the other foot out? Let me see. Should I drop it? Like, this wouldn't be a damn Pucci life, you know, without me not being able to find something. Okay. I'm not seeing where the hell it is, you guys. Let me just run this real quick. It'll come up eventually. What did I do with it? Should have put them all in here. Guys, I don't know what I did with that other foot. That's crazy. Whatever, let me cut this. All right, so let's run this through the die cutting machine. I'll see it eventually. It's always in my face somewhere. Anybody else ready for Friday? I'm so ready for Friday. I'm just gonna run that same foot Again, with the same one and probably turn it inside out, maybe. Because they might be directional. Oh, it's right here. It was right here on the plate the whole time. What the hell? See, it's always in my face, guys. Please tell me I'm not the only one that goes through that when crafting. So here goes our pieces. Me too, girl. All this stuff I've been buying and I still have not bought any new plates for my Switch. Like, what is wrong with me? All right, so we need those little pieces because we are going to paper piece them onto our feet. And then you have this where you can just uh, cut another one of this base one. And you can glue it on top. So you get like a two floor, you know? You can glue it like this. And then there goes another foot. 
So I would just cut a bunch of these and do like a little assembly line style and make a ton of bows. Here goes our cute little bow die. And you guys can use whatever bow dies you have in your stash. I know you have a ton. And Scrap Diva has a ton too. So if you're looking for bow dies, check on there. Use my code. Hey, where's my other piece of the foot? There it goes. All right. So let's go ahead and glue. I'm gluing the cut out pieces of this to the white. Where's the other big piece? Mm. All right, so let me get some wet glue. Okay. Thank you. Do you guys love Easter crafting too? I know a lot of you guys don't like Easter. I'm not into Easter crafting, but I can't be alone. Mm. Hi, Sandra. You lose your dyes a lot? Me too, girl. Okay. And then for this part, I just like to put a little bit of glue here because I got these sausage fingers and I ain't got time. I got my little picker upper in the, my craft room, damn it. Come on. So this middle one, put it a little bit higher. And then the other two, you can just eyeball it a little bit lower, like so. Aren't these little feet so adorable, you guys? So cute. Now, where the hell is that other piece? So there goes one of the little rabbit foots. Feet, foot, feet. Feet is the correct term. All right. Same thing with this one. Now the bunny ears, that jar one for ZF Party, it does not come with a layering, like a back piece. So you have to like, I'll show you what you gotta do with that one. I just glue it onto some scraps and cut it out. And then this one, that other piece will come up eventually. I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> okay. So it's cute little bunny feet. And then let's go ahead and so this is how these cut. And so you just glue it to your scraps. Should I match it? I'm gonna match it to the ears, to the feet. So just glue it like that and then, you know, cut. So I'm only gonna put glue here around the inside edge. Elijah. Like right there. And then the same thing with this one. You hear him? <laughs> Damn game. Can I fit it? Can I fit it? Can I fit it? I can, but I'm not. So just glue it like that. And then I like to tuck my scissors kind of in between the paper. 
because I only glued it on the inside, you know? That way I can get a nice little edge. Be careful though, this is too big for this. Let me pay attention before I cut the ear off. And then here, so kind of tuck your scissors like in between the two layers. And snip. So there goes one of our bunny ears. Peace. One day I'm gonna get my life together, but not today, guys. Sorry, not today. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, now we gotta figure out what I want to use this one or the pink one. I want to use the green one, you guys. So I like to take a paintbrush and and manipulate my paper. You have to do this when making bowls, guys. Don't be out here making corroded bowls. Make the time to get it, to get my life together. I know, girl. I need to. Okay, and then you glue on the edges of these. I think this blue is gonna look so pretty with the pink. I was like, being my she? What? Okay. And I made my own little pom-pom for the um, middle. I have these tiny little pom-pom makers. I'm not making one on this live though. But I know you guys got a ton of pom-poms in your stash. You can also put some cabbage on. Maybe we'll do a cabbage on in the middle instead. So there goes my little bow. I like it this side though. It's supposed to be the other side, but I like this side. Yes, the pom-poms are adorable. Just make it very Eastery, you know? All right, so let's build this bad boy. And then you're gonna need your tool or whatever you wanna put. You don't have to put the tool, but I've, that's like my little signature. I love putting tool on my bows. Okay, baby? Yeah. Okay. Let me grab a piece of string. I'm tired, you guys. I had a long morning. But I had to jump on here and craft with you all. I do have some little pom-poms that I got from Hobby Lobby, but I feel like it's too small. We're going to use it don't matter all right so i just take a piece of tool and i just accordion fold that's it and you can tie it with thread i find works a lot better but i'm just gonna use a string for now or you can just put a dab of hot glue on a silicone mat and do that. I'm just gonna tie one little knot here. Elijah, too loud, puppy. Okay, just like that. And then I move this over to get it right in the middle and then tighten it again.
Okay. I'm always trying different ways to do these bows to see what works best for me. I think I like the thread better. Best. And then I also take a little scrap. As a base to hold the thing. Elijah, right. chill out, man. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this. We're gonna take our tool. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue. I don't have my silicone mat. Try not to get it on anything. And I'm gonna take my bow and put it on top. Let's have it going this way, the long parts down. Okay. Let's see what you guys are saying. Can do that even if you tie your bow. Oh, I'm sorry, you're feeling sick, girl. It's, I feel like there's some bugs going around. It looks perfect. Thank you, girl. Okay, so there goes our bow. And then we're just gonna take our little feet. And mind your business, I know I'm missing one. Mind your business. And I'm gonna stick it like that. Only everyone on this live will know that I'm missing a paw. And then stick your other one like so. I know I'm gonna find it. I'm just gonna plop it on there. Look at my bow, Elijah. Oh my God, that looks so cute. Oh my God, thank you. You're so cute. And then I take the ears and then I'm just gonna um, place them wherever you guys want, however you want. I barely glue it on there, just a tiny little bit. And then I glue it like right on the edge, but line it up how you want it. Like that. And it's a little flimsy in the back and that's why we're gonna, cause I put these, if you put it too far in, you will see it from the front. And you don't wanna see it from the front, you wanna see it from the back. <laughs> And then this one, just like that. Look at how cute. And then I take this little scrap piece and I just put it on the back for stability. Let me actually cut it a little bit like this because I don't want to show, I think it's too thick right here. It's damn light. Here we go. So make sure that it's not too big. This is a little too big. I gotta cut it more in the middle. Elijah, you gotta relax, man. And look at how cute. So that makes it nice and stable. And then you just put whatever you want in the middle. I'm thinking about this pom-pom. Actually, the pom-pom looks really cute because it matches the paper nicely. Yeah, let's go with the pom-pom. Put your little dab of glue. And there goes your little bunny bows. Isn't that cute, you guys? And I was thinking you can actually um, use like two of the feet and maybe do like, you know, Double like that will look really cute. I'll probably make some of those. Elijah. So yeah, guys, that's it for the tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys know whenever I do like a design team thing or a guest design team thing that I like to um, incorporate some kind of tutorial. So let's recap. We got our little bunny bows. They're so cute, you guys. Thank you, Bev. Elijah, cut the TV off. 
little shit. Do you guys call your kids little shits? Look at this bag topper. So adorable. So this bunny, um, this Easter bag topper is going to come in handy. Okay, so there goes that. And then we did the box. I'm in love with the box, guys. Tell me what's your favorite from all this. Oh, my God. So cute. So adorable. I didn't back all this in paper, but you can easily do that by um, just measuring or with that cake die, just cut the edges off. Oh, my God. This kid is blasting this TV. Hold on, guys. <laughs> and then we have the wallets this kid can you fit this in here probably not because of the ears but you can fit these toppers if you don't do the ears you guys this will fit really nicely in here with the feet and everything Yes, it will fit. So that will be cute if you just, you know, um, gift some of these back toppers. It would be adorable. And then again, the little book. I have a tutorial on this, guys. Make sure you check it out. I hope that you guys um, feel inspired to make one. And there we go. And I could actually probably, these are probably too thick, but it will be cute. Oh, they're going to be too big. I was going to say I could probably gift these inside these boxes, but they're too wide. But you definitely have room to put like some little thin, like if you took a tag and then place some of your embellishments on there, they'll probably fit nicely into this box. Elijah, this kid. All right, guys, that's it. I got to deal with this little boy. I love you guys so much. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what your favorite um, project was. And again, don't forget, use my code to save 10% off your purchase. And everything else that I mentioned, I will link down below. And if I forget something, just let me know, guys, because my mind is just everywhere. I got four children and a husband. And, you know, sometimes the husbands, they count as children, too. They can. So that's it, guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.